Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I'm sure you're ready for the news because I'm ready to serve it to you hot, hot. All right, so let's do this real quick. So congratulations, Bonner Boy. Yes, Bonner Boy is in the news, and he finally bagged himself the BET Awards for the Best International Act 20. 19. Now, Bonoboy has joined the list of Nigerians who have been winning this award, and he was up against uh, Tenny Makanaki and Mr. Easy in that category, and the brother came out victorious. Ha <laughs> ha! Shout out to Bonoboy on this award. Yes, and his mom came out to give a speech saying that on, on behalf of Bonoboy, and she said that, you know, that Bonoboy's message to Africans is that you should always remember that you were first an African before anything, all right? And you know, Bonaboy wasn't there to collect the award because he went to get a drink. Can you imagine? You, you know, I, I'm, I'm not understanding. Who is this boy? But hey, it's, it's Bonaboy and his mom is his manager, for those of you who don't know, and she's been holding her son down back to back. We are so proud of you, Bonaboy. Congratulations once again. Now. Over to the second news. Now, for those of you who have been on social media, I'm sure you've been seeing some things that have been going on on Instagram and thereabout. So, Uti Wanchuku, that's uh, the ex-Big Brother winner. Yes, he won the Big Brother Nigeria, uh, Big Brother Africa. Yeah. Uti Wanchuku came out and put on his social media platform. He was congratulating um, Sisi, that's uh, uh, ex-BBN housemate, on her new million-dollar endorsement deal. And... Uti went on social media to say that, hey, BB and CC is like uh, the biggest of her set in the competition so far. And man, my brother, looking at how the fans came at him, like, yo, he shouldn't be doing that, blah, 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 blah. And as the fans did that, someone else also came to speak on behalf. And this was Princess. She was also an uh, ex house housemate at the BB. And she said, um, that she felt that the former housemate, that Uti being a former housemate, he should know better than outrightly quoting a comparison. That it's just unnecessary. That looking at it, most housemates have gone through a phase of depression, insecurity, and regrets. And they also have moved past it and gotten stronger. So she was wondering why that he shouldn't set up this trivia, that we don't need it, that come on. People out there are, are trying to, you know, go beyond this, and you're bringing it to the, the view of people and start comparing people. But hey, Uti had to come out again to say that, hey, he wasn't trying to compare people. He was just here to congratulate Cece on her new endorsement deal. So guys, eh, you guys should relax. Relax. Uti is not trying to stir up anything. And for Cece, congratulations on your new deal. Now, Dan, they gave her a Benz. Actually, they gave her a nice Benz for that deal. Please, I'm looking for who endorsed me. <laughs> Come on, give me Benz. Endorse me, please, all right? I can drive a Benz, too. You know what I mean? Okay, now, the next is, for those of you who have been following Nicki Minaj for quite some time, and uh, you follow her for different reasons, because I know that a lot of guys follow her, Nicki Minaj for different reasons. But uh, I would like to say that, unfortunately, Nicki Minaj is getting married soon. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's in the news. She had an interview over the, the weekend and she spoke about it that she's finally getting her marriage license and she's going to be getting married to her childhood friend, Kenneth Petty. Now, Kenneth Petty and Nicki Minaj have known each other for a very, very, very long time. And she has come out to say that she's in a very, very comfortable place. She never expected that she could experience love so well so good. She is good spiritually, mentally, and physically. So guys, Nicki Minaj is out here talking about Kenneth like he's out of a fairy tale storybook. Like, what happened to Mick Mills? I'm trying to say, <laughs> you know, I'm <laughs> just saying, like, okay, but Nicki Minaj is out here and she is going to be getting married soon. They're not married yet, but they've gotten their marriage license. So guys, we might be hearing wedding bells anytime soon. Congrats, Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. Now, moving on. Now, there's another story in the news that created a lot of buzz. For those of you who know the group Mafi Kizolo, the South African duo, yeah, corner, corner, those guys, yeah. For those of you who don't know, they've been married for 15 years. Yes, 15 years, and they have three children, all boys. 
Now, the sad news about this is that they have decided to call it quits in their relationship. Like, they've decided to call the marriage quits after 15 years. And uh, in the conversation with them, they said the situation they could not control anymore because uh, they've come to grow apart. You know, they have differences and they've come to grow apart. But they're still going to be friends. They're still going to be cool. They're still going to make sure that they take care of their kids uh, properly, and both of them will be there for their children. Now, 15 years gone down the drain. Now, guys, I'm going to be talking about this a bit. You know, let me just run through this real quick. I'm still going to touch on this situation what about what you guys think. We would like to hear about that. Now, let's move on to our newest jam for the week. Yeah. The newest vibe for the week is none other than uh, my, my friend, my brother. It's not like I know him. I'm just joking. Kiss Daniel has finally brought out his amazing visual. His visual to his new single, Eko. All right? Let's see some more of it a little bit. And I can let you guys know. I told you guys, Kiss Daniel has decided to blow our minds with another hit track, and he dropped an amazing video talking about Lagos. Now, this is just showing you the best part of Lagos and the heritage. So for those of you who are not in Lagos, go real quick and check this video out. It is Kiss Daniel, and he calls this one Echo. He's already got over 450,000 views on YouTube already, so what are you waiting for? All right? Yeah. Now, moving on to movies. Now, real quick, this is an amazing movie that has come out, and I think you guys will want to see it. It's Anna. Huh. For those of you who don't know, let's watch this real quick, and I'll tell you a little bit more about Anna, the movie. You know? I told you guys, you guys are going to love it. It's Anna. For those of you who have seen uh, The Bond Supremacy, The Bond Identity, you know, that kind of movie, this is... Anna, and it's something like that. It's a female version. Trust me, the ladies out there, I'm sure you're going to love it because it expresses your energy. All right, guys, so as it is, you know how it is. It's your boy, a.k.a. Fresh. We just got, gave you the news real quick for those of you who to be abreast of the situation. I, I said I was going to talk about something before I wrap up with the news. Now, that was about the Mafi Kizolo situation. Now, my question is, as a, a couple, do you think it's safe to get into a venture with your, with your significant other? Because right now, the group Mafi Kizolo is probably going to be broken up, all right? But just, let's just have a conversation on WhatsApp. The, the number will be on your screen. Just let me know. What do you think? Do, would it affect anything? Do you think it's safe to be in that kind of joint business? And at the end, if things go south, the business goes south. I'm just saying. But hey, you know how it is. Let's go straight to the next part, the events. You know how we do it now. I bring you the best. Stick around, guys. It's still showbiz. Let's go. Let's go. Real quick. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.